What's up, y'all? Sparty here. Um, I want to talk about what the potential Galaxy Note 10 will be. Now, there's been a lot of, like, rumors, speculation, questions. People were wondering, is it going to be a foldable note? Is it going to be, a, you know, just a S10 Plus with an S Pen? Like, a lot of people like to say the Note 9 was, and an S9 Plus with an S Pen. Like, you know how the, you know the typical song. And while I'm very intrigued to see what they do, because... Now that they've went past the thousand dollar price point, that's no longer going to be a question about how much the Note Nine is going to be, because they're not LG or like any of these other companies that make that a selling point to be like, oh, it's undercutting the other is undercutting the competition, while also doing it what the competition does. And a little bit more, I guess. But, yeah. So, the S10, S10 Plus, S10e came out, right? And the S10 Plus, the 4100 million, well, I guess now they have those better ones that are out with like a 4500 a milliamp hour battery and even bigger display, I think at like 7 inch display i believe it is and a 4500 milliamp hour battery and four cameras on the back and that's insane to me but i don't know what that laugh was but it's just insane that they can do that but because this is really reminding me of the samsung of old where they had A bunch of different phones come out. Like in the S3, S, S3 through S5 era, right? I want to talk about the S5 era mostly. Because they had the Samsung Galaxy S5. The S5 Sport. The S5 Active. They had the Note 4. The Note 4 Edge. And all this other stuff. Then with the S6. They had the S6. The S6. The... <laughs> The S6 Edge, the S6 Edge Plus, the Note 5, right? They they keep doing this, and it's like, how... And they also, they also had the S6 Active as well, right? Yeah, they did. It's like, how can they keep doing this and not face backlash? Like, this is... Cl- like, this souped-up S10 Plus... Is basically saying, yeah, you bought a, excuse my language, yeah, but you bought a shittier version. Here's the better version, you pleb, get this. Like, like that. that's basically what this is like. And that's crazy to me. It's like, and, sh- and I'm not going to say that they're the only ones to do it. LG does it too. They had like four V30s. <laughs> They had the LG V30, V30 S, V30 S Plus, V35. They had four different V30s, right? Plus the regular. And it's like... And and they're having like two different G8s. Where there's a G8 and a G8 Plus. Where it has three cameras on the back. Instead of just two. And it's really weird. What these companies do. I'm not going to make a jest about. Samsung. Because it's not just Samsung that does it. Apple has been doing it for a few couple years too. So it's not just Samsung. It's not just LG. Even Google does it. It's just this weird thing. Where we're not in this like hyper experimental stage. Where. We have the LG G Flex, the the G well, the G Pro or anything like that. It's just bigger phone, a phone that can fold, a phone with a headphone jack, a phone without a headphone jack. But it's called a Pro, like like 
it's just weird to me. But yeah, what am I trying to say here? What would the note even do? And we said this last year with the um, Note 9. What would the Note 9 do? But what would the Note 10 do? Yeah, it's going to have the cutout. The, the cutout camera notch that's in the upper right, but people don't want to call it a notch because it's not a typical notch, even though it is. It's obstructing the display, so it's a notch. Like, it's just not traditional, I guess. But, yeah. What can we really expect? What I would like to see... I guess, because what what would you even want? A bigger battery. Duh. I want a hi-fi DAC. That's what I want. I want them to put more emphasis on multimedia. They always say they put more emphasis on it, but they really don't. They just add this like slightly better thing that was better than the last time and then say that they're doing that, but they really don't do it. Maybe I'm just expecting too much because the note is still technically mainstream, but <laughs> but it, it like their camera software doesn't push the envelope or anything like LG do, LG phones do, where they have man a full manual video mode, cine shot or anything like that. It's just, oh, you can shoot in HDR like every phone can do. Well, most phones can do now anyway. And it's just, what can they really do? Like, bigger battery, yes. Four cameras, fine, whatever. Well, technically six. But four cameras on the back, two on the front, fine. Um, headphone jack, obviously. USB-C, of course, they're going to stick with that. Better charging. I want better charging. If you're going to have these phones with big, big, big batteries, better charging, Samsung. Like, come on. <laughs> but, yeah, that's honestly, like, I don't know. Like, that's the thing. I don't know <laughs> what they would do. And that's my big, not problem, but, like, my big question. What are they going to do? Let me know in the comment section below what you want. Because this is going to be a really interesting year in term for phones. But yeah. Do you want them to go foldable with the Note? Do you want them to just stick to a traditional phone? And just have a bigger battery and all the stuff I listed off? A 4K display... A 4K display would be cool, too, to be real. Because I think they're still sticking to the 2960 by 14. Let me check that. Galaxy S10 Plus screen resolution. A 3040 by 1440. So it's not even... It's like below... How's the S10 Plus have a have a lower resolution display than the G7? <laughs> That's weird to me. But yeah, I would like to see them go 4K. For real, I would like to see them go 4K. Sony's the only one that's doing it. And the closest one behind them is LG with the 3K displays that no one ever talks about. But you know, it's whatever. Um... Well, they don't market it as 3K, so <laughs> I can't really blame people for not calling them 3K, even though they are. They still say Quad HD+. Plus. Like, just say 3... That's one thing LG can do, like, say, oh, we have 3K displays, and it'll probably sell some units. Like, a 3K display at what the G8 is going to be, $600, $650, and I know this because it came out, It it's T-Mobile said it's going to be $650 at T-Mobile, so that's how I know. But, yeah, I'm going to talk about LG marketing in a different video. I, I've done it 
before with how LG failed to be 20 and stuff like that, but I want to talk about it a bit more. And my disappointment with what LG does with their phones, but... Yeah, this is part of the thing, guys, for watching the support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday, whatever time of day it is in your area. Have a good one. Like the video if you like it, dislike if you dislike it. Share with people that are interested in this sort of content. And let me know what you guys feel the Note 10 should do. Because I really do want to know. Because I'm not coming up with a whole bunch of ideas, and I think that's my problem. And, yeah. Have a good one, you guys.